Afternoon, everybody. Um, we're going to make the refrigerator handle covers um, real quick. Um, you need two pieces of fabric, uh, 15 and a half by six inches. Let me get you down here. So 15 and a half by six. I'm using two different colors. These are the color of my kitchen. Then you need a piece of batting. And then you need some Velcro or hook and loop from Hobby Lobby. So you're gonna put these together and put your batting on top and pin it. But you're gonna leave an opening right here so we can turn this. So it's right sides together. Okay, let me get my pins. Just be sure you get, get it all that it's all even. And then we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around. But remember to keep your opening. I might trim a little of this off. Yep. Just trim a little of this off. Keep pinning around. Go to your sewing machine. So I'm going to end here and start here. Okay, so let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, and we're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around and back stitch where you first start. And pivot, and then just go all the way around and I'll be right back. Okay, on your back, be sure you got everything sewn up. And then come back to your table, cut your corners, and if you have any of the batting kind of hanging over, just kind of trim it off. Okay, turn this the right side out. So just try to get your finger way up there and then you can start pushing down one corner and it will come out like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my little corner Thing to make my corners nice, which is this. It's a clover product. So just go in and try to get your corners nice and sharp. 
a nice point to them. And all four. Go to your iron, and we're going to iron this down. So kind of do that roll thing that I told you about, where you roll the material. This nice and flat. Then we're going to go back to the sewing machine and we're going to sew up our opening. take a picture of mine already on the refrigerator. Because my husband's in there watching something about Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I don't want to disturb him. So get your opening even. And then we're just going to sew up this little opening here. Okay. So do an edge stitch, which is coming as close as you can to that opening. back to your table or ironing board. I use both. Okay. Open up your Velcro or your hoops and loops. That's sticky. Okay, then you're going to measure this, and I usually measure it just on my fabric. Okay, be sure this is together right. So I put them back to back so they don't stick. So about a quarter of an inch away from each end. Okay, so about right there. So you got your two pieces. So you're gonna sew one on this side, it would help if I show you. You're gonna sew one on this side. You might have to trim it just a little. And then you're gonna sew another piece on the opposite side. Okay, so, and like I said, you might have to Let me 
looks pretty good. Okay, so come back over to your sewing machine. And where I did my edge stitch, I usually have that at my bottom. So you're gonna sew this a quarter of an inch away from the top. You're gonna sew this as close as you can to your edge. So like right in there. And you're gonna sew, pivot, and then come back up. I'll be right back. Okay, once you have this side done, flip over your material and you're gonna sew the other side and just try to line it up the best you can. And again, as close as you can get to this edge. And I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm finished. So you can either use this either way. You can have them going this way, or you can have them going this way. Now I have a GE refrigerator. I think my handles were four and a half wide around. So if you have a little bit bigger handle, you're gonna have to add like a half inch um, to your material just so you have it um, the right size but yeah just like this uh, when they get dirty just throw them in the wash um, like I said these are great for refrigerator handles the stove the dishwasher freezer so that's that so make yourself some handles for your refrigerator and it really saves the handle. So, alrighty. So I will be back um, tomorrow. I'll, um, I have some like magic towels and um, a few other things that I can do in between making all these placemats. Um, this is what I'm making. And I have to make 12 of them. So I'm at four. <laughs> but we're getting there. But anyways, I'll take a picture of this um, on my refrigerator or stove. And uh, I'll post it. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. So you all have a great weekend. And we'll see you soon.